the Viking Twin Otter Series 400 is at home in more places and in more ways than any other aircraft. As a 19-passenger commuter, search and rescue, cargo-carrying workhorse, or even as an executive transport, the Series 400 fills all roles at low cost, from paved runways, water, ice, or even mud. Extremely reliable and very easy to maintain, the world's leading utility aircraft, Viking Twin Otter Series 400. Versatility that works. Looking at the hydraulic power pack here, which is located underneath the cockpit. Easy to troubleshoot. You can replace the components individually. It is an electrically driven hydraulic motor, which generates about 1,575 PSI of pressure. The system uses a MILH 5606 a hydraulic fluid. It's basically a self-contained power pack here that has a reservoir. It has an electrically driven hydraulic motor two accumulators and a hydraulic filter that's located in the middle of the power pack assembly. These filler valve assemblies here are typically used to add nitrogen pressure. Accumulators are charged to uh, 750 PSI. When you're checking the reservoir here, you unscrew the cap, measure the level of the fluid on the hydraulic stick, and then when you tighten the cap, it actually expands a plug in the filler neck. There's also a hydraulic filter that's located in the center of the power pack. This is the cover for the hydraulic filter bowl assembly for the hydraulic power pack. Once the cover is removed, you cut the lock wire, remove the hydraulic filter bowl. Inside the hydraulic filter bowl assembly is the filter. It's one of the benefits of the Twin Otter being having the ease of access of the hydraulic power pack and all of the hydraulic power pack components. This is the other side of the hydraulic power pack assembly. It gives us a good view of all the hydraulic plumbing and the check valves. These are the two hydraulic accumulator assemblies. It's also a good view of the hydraulic pump assembly on the end here that's being driven by the electrically operated motor. We can see the filter housing there. These two hydraulic accumulators here are interchangeable, same part number, so if you're troubleshooting the hydraulic system, you can actually interchange the two accumulators. The hydraulic pump assembly actually on a 400 series airplane has a thermal switch built into the pump assembly and if the pump uh, overheats, you will get a cast message. There's also a cast message for low hydraulic system pressure that uh, increases the awareness of what's happening to the hydraulic system for the pilot. If you're gonna remove the hydraulic uh, power pack assembly, you can uh, pull the breaker, depressurize the hydraulic pressure system, disconnect and cap the lines, and then this whole hydraulic power pack tray assembly can be removed and you can actually work on the power pack assembly. In addition to that, you can actually access the hydraulic power pack through a panel that's located on the cockpit floor and you can access uh, all of the individual connections or components in the hydraulic power pack as well.